Okay guys, this is gonna be a quick video of my very first gravel bike. This is a Poseidon Redwood in medium. I am 5'11 and that's what they recommended. And I already bought some upgrades. Dropper post, uh, cableless, Olight, you know I rock Olight. <laughs> Cool seats. I already installed the light. Kind of like Iron Man esque. Yeah. And some other goodies. These are the tires I decided to go with. The Panarays are there. Gravel Kings. It's 650B by 54. Fatties. Thank you guys for coming. We're going to build it right here. Right now. Say what's up, mommy. Hi. Oh, Anything that's too to close. Say? Anything to say? Chilling. Chilling? Yep. You're hardly ever in my videos. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Whoa, look at this stand. All makes sense. Thank you guys for helping me set this up. Yeah, stoked. Congrats on the new bike. My very first gravel bike, which I would not be dabbling with if it wasn't for your <laughs> influence. I'm just, uh, I'm just a proponent of bikes and being out on these time machines. So here we go, Jay. You should be seasoned at this since we have the same one now. Let's see what it looks like. Bed them in properly? Yeah. See, I don't know the terms. I gotta learn the terminology. It's easy. It just takes like 30 minutes, maybe. Look at this Poseidon Redwood. So start inspecting for, um, inspecting the weld and, oh, this is really weird. Just uh, take a quick glance over, make sure everything's. The frame's not as noticeable change as yours, Jay? Pretty close. Uh, the triangle on mine is smaller. Oh, okay. Ooh, I got a little scratch here, but it's okay. It's gonna happen anyway, right? Yeah. As long as it doesn't go down to the white. Okay. Originally, I did want to powder coat this flat dark earth, but uh, that's expensive, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> So putting in the first upgrade, this is a dropper post. Can you explain what a dropper post is? So when you're going on sketchy downhill descents, rocky, bumpy, yeah. or even just pavement, it'll give you more control. You can move your bike around underneath you a little easier. Then once you get back on, you know, easier terrain, Ooh. Sweet. This is a, uh, what did you call this? Cableless? Um, yeah, no. Okay, yeah. Jay, Jay has one with a cable. Did you run your cable on the outside or inside? Um, down here. On the inside? Down, and then uh, in the inside. Ooh, on the that's outside. cool. Oh, on the outside? Yeah. 
Oh, on the inside? Inside. The oh, fish. yeah. Right. Would you had you have it, had you fish it through with fish tape? Right here. Right here. I think it was right here. How'd you get it to come out? It, um, once you put it through here, there's a big opening at the bottom. Oh, cool, cool. It just comes out. And then it has a, a lever right here. Nice. Which you can access right here and right here. Sweet. Now, I don't know much about this, but I think I could put my bell on by myself. <laughs> Melvin sent me that link. But when Jay gets his carbon bike, I guess you're gonna buy his Poseidon, so we can have a his and hers. Matching tattoo, redwood. Let's see that redwood tattoo. Let's see that redwood tattoo. Ooh. You like your tattoo? <laughs> no. <laughs> so we'll be Removing the wrap. Yes, I know I need lotion. And uh, we're gonna be changing it to those camo ones, plus those inserts. And while Jay does that, Melvin, I'll assist Melvin doing the tubeless setup, which I've never done before. Yeah. So for those that don't know anything about tubeless tires, like me, we're going to be putting, what kind of tape is this called? This, uh, tubeless rim, rim tape. tape. And we're going to be putting it on the inside while we listen to a 90s um, R&B. Oh, Jay! That's looking sweet! Good choice to have um, yeah. green camo. Thank you, thank you. It's going for the... the the camo brown theme. Mm -hmm. so orange touch. Yep. That's as close to brown as I can get. So this is the beginning stages of the tubeless, which is my first experience with it. Trade you bra. Thank you. Okay. Take us to school bra, because I've never done this or seen it done. So, that's the hole? Yeah, so you got the valve hole here. So, most people that I've seen, they do a plus sign. How about an X? Yeah, X, <laughs> <laughs> X marks the spot. But you don't want to go too crazy. Okay. Because this will help seal, oh, okay, seal the valve in there. And this is your tubeless valve. Right here, like I said, that's normal. Link is not in the description. That's too much work. We got a couple dingoes. Andy, drop it. You look so comfy, mommy. You look so cute and comfy. Okay, can I see the valve stem real quick? So all you did was push it through, oh, yeah. and that's it. And yeah, then make sure it's snug, push it down, and then tighten this nut. Now, I, I heard hand tight was better. Yeah. So you don't don't go on a wrench. Yeah. Okay. And then you just... If you line up the, um, the label mm -hmm. with the valve, it makes you go 10% faster. Oh! Okay, we're in the next day. We had some hiccups last time, right, bro? <laughs> we, uh, yeah. We spent some money and uh, had a good time. <laughs> yes, uh, long story short, I, I have one of those electric compressors, but apparently we need volume and we need volume fast. Yeah. So I had about six CO2 cartridges and unfortunately we were only able to get one. But this is what we're gonna end up looking like. This is Jay's bike. Look at that awesome, cool mount. So this is Jay's bike. Same as mine, but a uh, small frame. Mine's a medium. We might need an inner tube for this guy. Ooh, Shiza, non-tubeless setup? Yeah, just to get the bead in. Cause uh, remember how hard I was having? 
Okay, Jay, we were just talking about a little hiccup we had yesterday. That's why we're on to the next day. So we're so cool. taking out the core to give it faster flow. Yeah. Just a full on unrestricted flow. And what we're trying to do, if I'm not mistaken, is to pressurize this tire to where the beads pop. Yeah. Okay. You just got to hold it. Like I said, I know nothing about tubeless setup. Yeah. Okay. Go, go, go. Good thinking. Yeah, it's working. Nice, Jay. Whoa. <laughs> uh, Jay came in clutch. I feel it's losing a little pressure. Get us Okay. That's crazy. So you have to have a tubeless rim to do this. Yeah. You can't just be any geek off the street. Well, you got to be handy with the steel, if you know what I mean. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Jay, I like this thing. Oh, yeah. Um, it's, it was only like 30 bucks. Cool. For the fat hydros? Um, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Blackburn. Or like a little stuff pack. Oh. Just try to bring like a jacket. With oh, me yeah, 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 yeah. Pack it right here. That's what I like about this thing. It's got so many, um, what do you call them? Rack mounts. Rack mounts. Three. Three. Show me the line. This line here right next to the rim. Okay. You just want to make sure it's uniform all the way around. That means it's pretty, popped. pretty much it's in there. Okay. Yeah. And what? Yeah. And we'll like bounce the wheel around to you. Now this might be a, a yeah, dumb question, but you know how we put the tape on the inside? Yeah. What are the odds of that leaking through the holes? Or is it pretty oh, solid? It'll be solid. Once the sealant is in there, uh -huh. kind of little gaps will be Oh, sealed. sweet, sweet, sweet. Dude, this is sick, look at this. I like the tread on these too. Yeah, I just wish it was fatter. Yeah, I like it. Now this is the sealant we're putting in. And I feel like it's pretty accurate. Milwaukee uh, Pumpski. Here, this will be, you know, less pressure so it gets filled up again. But after a couple of days, everything will be sealed. Swag. It'll take a little bit. And she's done. One week later. <laughs> we are one week later. Yes, things happen. Indeed. Thank you guys for helping me set up the new rig. Yeah. Poseidon Redwood. Slightly hopped up. Got some pedals, gravel kings. 650B by 54. Cool little cable dropper post. All light. Check out that bell. What a little Tony Stark feature. start the break-in break-in process which is called the what jay bedding in the brakes we're gonna be bedding the brakes well mommy looks at the, 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 the new show the new cookbook what do we got cook 
Rio Hawaii. Wow. And Auntie got it signed for us. All right. Shout out, Sheldon. Let me see his picture. We'll report back on this, see if this guy's legit. But he's from Maui, right? Mm -hmm. And he has a restaurant, Tin Roof. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Let's test this thing out. So we're just dialing it in. Oh, I'm just gonna eyeball it, but uh, I think I know where it goes. Indy. Indy. Let's just take a little, a little something special ordered for that little cap right there. Oh, what do you get? <laughs> So we just did the bedding in of the brakes. Um, and now we lubed that, should have lubed it first, but it is what it is. Jay's testing out mommy's uh, Peloton. Who's, who's he using? I like Hannah Frankson. Come on, Jay, be a champion. Push, push, Peloton. Oh, yeah. It's the day after Christmas. Breaking in the gravel bike for the first time. Brothers came through for a quick ride. Look at the beautiful greenery and scenery. Wishing everyone the best 2022. Be kind, everyone. Everyone's fighting a battle no one knows about. So, let's be good to each other, especially this year and beyond. With that said, I'm out. Thanks for watching. <laughs>